Psalm 112. Fear and delight in the Lord. The psalm spells out the pure happiness to follow as blessing for those who fear the Lord and delight in His commands. It does not condone any prosperity gospel, neither does it suggest that if you are righteous, you will never have exposure to the hardships of life. As the psalmist says, even in darkness, light dawns for the upright, in verse 4. This psalm spells out how the fear of the righteous Lord works out in the life of the righteous. The message of this psalm focuses on righteousness, uprightness and justice. A righteous man will surely not be easily shaken. It may seem on the surface that the life described in the psalm is unrealistic, since many true believers know that their experience in the real world is very often much different to what they would describe as a fantasy world expressed in the passage. Yet, those who fear God and obey His commands do truly know that life inwardly even when surrounded by hostilities and painful realities. In those days, it was a general cultural practice to be generous. The benefits accruing to the righteous were meant to be shared. That is where the secret lay. Good will come to those who are generous. In verse 5, the trigger to unleash the blessings described here lies in generosity. Let us demonstrate this truth and delight in His commands. Psalm 112 Praise the Lord! Blessed are those who fear the Lord! who find great delight in His commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice, Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we call upon you to open the floodgates of blessing that we may prosper in our souls as you intended and that it will glorify your name. Amen.